Today in this video, I'm going to be getting back into this K guitar that I'm in the process of doing a neck reset on. And I got the joint all cleaned out and it's ready to be fitted. So uh, first thing I have to do is work on this heel and then start setting the angle. This could get interesting. Stick around. Now I've got this, I think, opened up a little bit. Let me start doing some sandpaper pulls. So the idea here is to take off more material from the lower side of the heel than the upper. I actually don't want to remove anything from up here. I want to remove it all from the lower portion. I have some sandpaper here. I have the back coated with a little packing tape. So the idea is to pull and as you sand it removes more material from the back because the sandpaper is spending more time working in this area than in the front. Now, while you do this, at the same time, every time you want to put the neck back in the pocket and put pressure down while you're pulling. You want to do this even the modern swipes on each side. Just about even. So I want to allow for a little bit of deflection on the top. So now the other thing I want to be aware of is that we're coming in line with the bridge. So let's line that up now and see how that looks. Let's see how it lines up with the bridge now. Okay, this side, pencil mark, right in the outside of that bridge pin. I'm going to line up this side it's farther this way so that needs a need to move, remove more material from this side of the heel here and then I'll recheck it well of course I wasn't filming it when I was working on the neck moving some parts around and this fell off the bench and look at that, it broke off the fingerboard extension. It just snapped, it hit the ground and snapped it right off. But I think luckily this, this can go back together pretty easily. It's got a big glue surface area and there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of support to be needed here, so. Well, just one, one more thing to repair. Yep. Tell them. Let me get a little glue on there and clamp it. Come on, glue. Oh, well, we're going to have to do it this way. Get on the get some on the back side. Like I said, just want a thin, even coat. Want to make sure there's glue down in it, all those little recesses. That's what's going to really help hold it on there. Like I said, not that there's any structural s support I'm looking for here. These 
You just want to reattach this. Yeah, I'm getting good squeeze out all, all over. Once this is done, you won't even know. Well, you will, but somebody that hasn't seen this video won't know. Not that I'm trying to hide anything, but won't be that apparent. Little mishap, but there's always a fix. Now, how to clamp this. I think if I gotta get a clamp in this corner. Try to get a little piece of paper. I get a little bit of this to get in the corner here. Getting any pressure right on the end here. Right, I don't know if you can see it. Right there, there's really no pressure right there. And that's kind of a key spot. This side here. Kind of the same thing. I think what I'm gonna do, try and get a wedge in there. Love these little clothespin wedges. Let's take a clothespin, let's kind of shave it down a little bit. Yeah, you can see some glue squeezing out there now. So you can see when I put that wedge in there. Glue squeezing out. So that means it's putting some pressure right in that spot, that key area. Clean it up a little bit. I can do some more cleanup after this is dry. This side we have good pressure all the way around. As the glue spills. Okay, where the hell was I? I was checking this other side. See how it looks. Does it have a similar situation? I think it does. Yeah, I can get a little wedge on this side too. And I can see a little squeeze out, so I know that's working. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. Probably overnight. It's late right now, I'll come back in the morning. I'll finish this up. Okay, it's the next day. Let's have a look, see how this came out. Got a little cleanup to do here, not a big deal. It came out really, really nice. One thing I just noticed, um, I didn't take this fret out. So when this broke, I looked on the floor, I looked all over, couldn't find it at first, but then I ended up finding it. The fret popped out because it broke right on the fret slot. Thought that was kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm like, wait a minute, there's a fret missing here. So anyway, I found it. We'll just have to put that back when we put the other one on. So what I'm having a little bit of trouble with is the angle. I'm working on getting this square. And I can see my alignment is a little bit off. So my angle, I have to take more material off this side of the heel. 
So let me continue doing that and see if the angle changes by doing some more swipes. It almost seems like the dovetail is getting a little locked up too because there's there's really not a lot of play in it and I'm able to seat the fingerboard on this side. Let's see, what side was it? This side here sits pretty flush on the top here. And then when I turn it this way, I got a little gap right there. So that tells me the dovetail is not quite right. It's binding. Um, so I may have to relieve a little bit from the dovetail because I'm, I, you know, obviously I'm probably going to need to shim the dovetail anyway. So I might need to open that up to get this angle correct. I'm going to do a couple more pulls here and see if this helps. If I don't get any movement, I know it's that dovetail that's getting in the way. Let me do we do one more and then check it. Now that should allow for a little bit more movement. Okay, let's see where it's at. Just take a look. And it has not moved has not moved. So I may have to relieve some uh, some of that dovetail. Something's not allowing this side to go down. So something's going on here. Let me try and figure this out. See if I come up with something. I'll bring you back when I get to that point. What I came up with is I want to find out where this dovetail is hitting. So I know one way to do that is to Put some carbon paper inside the dovetail and then fit the neck over it, slide it in there, and the paper should give you a mark. Okay, so I can see it's rubbing here. And on this side, it's a little bit over here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little, I can see just a little carbon impression. So, I'm gonna clean up some of that. Now it does seem like I have play going both ways on this dovetail. So I should be able to adjust this by doing some more sandpaper swipes on one side. I'm gonna do one more and then check it. to relieve right from the heel here the base seems like it's rocking and this isn't seating I have to come right right off the plane of the side so it meets this perfectly here <sighs> one thing you have to be careful doing this, when you pull your paper, you don't want to pull up. It'll put a little radius at the end. You want that nice and square. So I, what I do is I, I put pressure, you know, pushing down on the heel. And then when I pull the swipe, I pull it kind of down so it doesn't pull up. Still has a weird rock. Let me bring in a little closer. I think I did 
realize because I'm changing the angle on this and it's going to be seating a little bit lower. You can see my finish. I don't know if you can see, I put a little score line at the bottom of the heel. I'm going to remove that little bit of finish there and see if that's in the way. I do feel a little step there. Maybe that's giving me the problem. Well, I think that's what it was. Now, when I set it in here, there's no rock whatsoever. It sits nice and flat on both surfaces. So let's check the angle again. It's about an eighth of an inch from this hole, from the outside edge of the hole. And this one, I'm almost a quarter of an inch. So I still have a little ways to go. Let me see if I can do some more sanding on the back of this heel and see if now it makes a difference because I have that finish out of the way. Let's see if that works. down the center. Maybe two. <sighs> Check it. It's five millimeters on the base, on the treble. It's about one millimeter. So somehow I gotta get this to move over two millimeters. All right, let me continue to work on this. There seems to be some material right in this seam here that I need to remove. Now double checking the neck angle. I got it in my clamp situation here. So running the straight edge along the fingerboard. You can see it clears the bridge pretty well. It's about a sixteenth or eighth of an inch clearance. And then if I check the straightness, this is the base side. Here's the treble side. So I think you can see I got the neck pretty well set up to be re-glued in place. And I'm gonna take a little breather from this guitar for the moment. In part two of this video, we'll reattach the neck. It needs a nut. And I am gonna string it up and finally, finally, finally play this guitar. So keep an eye out for that one.